Hello grade 9 learners! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video lesson, uh, I will be discussing about solving quadratic equation using completing the square. So when we say completing the square, to complete a quadratic equation means to make one of its sides a perfect square trinomial. So, kapag siya ay perfect square trinomial, wherein ang kanyang factors ay magkatulad. So, magkatulad yung binomials. So, yun yung ating target. So, here are some guidelines. So, I hope na masundan nyo yung ating mga guidelines on how to get the solution set of the given quadratic equation with the use of completing the square. So, let's have an example. Let's say we are asked to factor or to get the solution set of x squared plus 2x minus 6 equals to 0. Again, our quadratic uh, equation is x squared plus 2x minus 6. This is our quadratic term. This is our linear term, and this is our coefficient term. So, the first one is multiply each term by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the quadratic term. Okay, since wala namang coefficient yung ating quadratic term, so hindi na natin gagawin yung step 1. Or, 1, 2, and 6, yung mga numbers niya ay pwede nang hindi lowest term. Step 2, isolate the constant. We're in yung negative 6 or we just transform this equation into standard form. So, yung negative 6 ay ililipat lang natin sa kabilang side. So, that will become x squared plus 2x equals to 6. So, this will be for our step 2. Then, step 3, get the half of the coefficient of the linear term and square it. Again, get the half of the coefficient of the linear term and square it. Add this to both sides of the equation. So, ito yung ating linear term. Okay, so ang gagawin daw ay kukuhanin yung half of the coefficient of the linear term and square it. We're in x squared plus 2x plus 1 half of 2 squared again 1 half times 2 yung 2 ay yung coefficient ng ating linear term squared equals to 6 plus 1 half times 2 squared. Okay, so nasundan ba yung ating step 3 and 4? Again, get the half of the coefficient of the linear term. So, 1 half of 2 squared. Iaad natin both sides. Para makakuha tayo ng perfect square trinomial. Next, Express the perfect square trinomial as a square of binomial. But first, let us simplify x squared plus 2x plus 1 half times 2 squared. So that will become x squared plus 2x. 1 half of 2 is 1 squared, that is 1. Again, 1 times 2 is 2, divides 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1 equals to 6 plus 1. So, that's the same. Okay? And then next. So, x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, factorable by perfect square trinomial. So, the factors are x plus 1 squared. So, pare siyang x plus 1. Then, 6 plus 1 is 
7. Again, nakuha yung x plus 1. Kasi kapag sinactor sa si x squared plus 2x plus 1, ang kanyang factors ay x plus 1 and x plus 1. Then, apply the square root property. So, paano yung square root property? So, we need to uh, square both sides. Or maglalagay tayo ng square root para makancel natin to. So, that is x plus 1 equals positive negative square root of 7. Then, x equals yung 1 kapag in-isolate natin or inilipat sa kabila that will become negative 1 positive negative square root of 7. So, therefore, the solution set is ang ating solution set ay negative 1 minus square root of 7 and 1 negative 1 square root of 7. So, that will be our solution set. So, negative 1 square root of 7. So, that is considered positive. Okay? So, let's have another example. We have 3x squared plus 18x plus 6 equals to zero. Yeah. So, we need again to follow the guidelines or the steps in completing the square to get the solution set of the given uh, quadratic trinomial 3x squared plus 18x plus 6 equals to zero. Okay, so dito sa example na to ay ma-apply natin yung step 1 na multiply each term by the reciprocal of the coefficient of the quadratic term. So, kasi yung kanyang mga uh, coefficient ng quadratic term, ng linear term, at nung ating coefficient dito sa dulo ay parehas or lahat ma divide sa 3 para ma-simplify natin. Sige, dito na lang natin ilagay. So, pwede natin siyang i-multiply by 1 3rd Yung reciprocal ng 3, 1 3rd So, that will become x squared plus 18 divided by 3 is 6x plus 6 divides 3 is 2 equals to 0. Kumbaga, dito ay sinimplified lang natin yung quadratic equation kasi meron siyang uh, common factor. Okay? So, dinivide lang natin siya by 1 third. So, para mas masimplified natin siya. Then, after that, isolate the constant or gagawin natin siyang standard form. So, yung 2 ililipat natin sa kabila. So, that will become x squared plus 6x equals to negative 2. Then, get the half of the coefficient of the linear term. So, ito yung coefficient ng linear term. And square it. Add this to both sides of the equation. So, that will be x squared plus 6x plus 1 half of 6 squared equals to negative 2 plus 1 half of 6 squared. Then, simplify. Simplify. So, we have x squared plus 6x 1 half of 6 is 3 squared plus 9. Again, 1 half of 6 is 3 squared 9 equals negative 2 plus 9. Now, x squared plus 6x plus 9 is now a perfect square trinomial where ang kanyang factor ay x plus 3 squared. So, parehas na x plus 3 equals to negative 2 plus 9 ay positive 7. Then, 
i-apply nga natin ngayon yung square root property. Kaya natin ang square root. Then, x plus 3 equals to positive and negative square root of 7. Then, lipat lang natin yung uh, positive 3 sa unahan. So, that will become x equals to negative 3, positive and negative square root of 7. So, therefore, the solution set is negative 3 minus square root of 7 and negative 3 square root of 7 or negative 3 plus square root of 7. So that's how we get the solution set using completing the square. So yun yung ating process. Again, tandaan natin, when we say completing the square, to complete a quadratic equation means to make one of its sides a perfect square trinomial. So that concludes our lesson for today. I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to like and share this video. See you on our next video tutorial.